East Fork Farms uh, is the first uh, recreational licensed CBD only farm and one of the first only CBD farms in the state. It is uh, dedicated and committed to sun-grown cultivation in large part because it is a full spectrum of light. Uh, you don't have to install um, any other systems that you would indoor to mimic the natural environment. And um, there's also a, um, a lesser known cultivation technique that is really practiced in medicinal herbs. And that is if you allow a plant to experience the natural um, environment to a degree that it doesn't kill the plant, whether that's insects or um, natural cycles of watering, uh, and you allow a plant to interact with um, some of the difficulties of growing outside, it turns on defense mechanisms that actually enhance some of the uh, terpenes and cannabinoid levels uh, that people find beneficial. You know, that, that's not to say that indoor uh, CBD dominant or rich cannabis is not as good, um, but I think we're seeing more and more that it doesn't fully express its properties uh, like sun-grown cannabis does. And so, um, in addition to having a, a more well-rounded, holistic uh, flower and extract um, using sun-grown cultivation methods, you also have a much smaller footprint on the environment. And we put a lot of funky stuff like um, ground up uh, shells and kelp um, into a uh, essentially a massive vat in one of our um, little shelters where llamas used to live and now they have a different spot out in the field. Um, and we make a large compost tea. We let it bubble for a bit and then um, connect it to our irrigation lines. The spirit of the East Fork Ranch and our farm is to be a sustainable, low impact, and, um, and we're not supposed to say organic because it's still federally not allowed. Um, but we, we are a clean green certified farm and one of the things we're doing at East Fork Farms is we are giving away uh, free clones and uh, cuttings and in some cases seeds if we're confident the seed will display the right properties to um, essentially hobby growers, people in Portland that uh, now know that they can grow four plants in their backyard.